Hi there, today I'm going to be overviewing the GoDaddy website builder. I recently purchased the product and I want, I'm going to be providing a review on how and showing how the software works. So here's one of the promotions that I have in the main page. I'm just going to skip in. I've already logged in and we'll take a look at what the website builder looks like. So when you first come in, they're going to give you a bunch of themes to choose from. Now there's a lot of themes to choose from here. As you can see the list goes on for quite extensively. You can also choose some of the categories, pre-designed little categories here. Of course this is optional. When you make your website it won't look quite the same. Um, here we have a bunch of the choices. If I click on one of these to zoom in, you can see that the website actually gives you a nice little preview of what the website could look like. I'm going to go to something, a really basic theme, just to show you some of the features and how they work. So let's go with abstract, nice and simple. Okay, so here is our GoDaddy website. So we can see it has already set us up with a nice little theme. It's already put some boxes and a nice layout. It's picked some basic colors and it gives you an idea of where to start from. As we can see on the left hand side we have a bunch of choices when it comes to tools that we can use and at the top we also have undo, redo, save button and a preview button. It also gives you a listing of your pages that you have and this gives you an option to home page, change the name and allows you to copy pages. Okay, let's explore some of the tools that we have here. So if you click a new page, it'll allow you to add a new page very easily. And you notice there's now a new page on the tab section at the top, but there's nothing here because we haven't actually added anything. On the other hand, if we went to say, if we wanted to copy this about page and I clicked copy, and we'll call this test2. We'll now see the test2 page is actually the same as the about page. There's now also a picture there, just like the about page has a picture there. Okay, so let's go to our test and let's start dumping things on this page. I'm not going to worry about formatting, we're just going to show you how the features work. So you can add text here, it gives you a little text editor as well if you wanted bullets if you wanted numbering, and in my case, let's add a link, adding a link to YouTube. And you can highlight that and actually send it as a link, add a link right here. If I click add link, you can do HTTPS YouTube.com. You can then click open in a new window, since that's probably what I want, and we'll insert that. You now see there's a line underneath to indicate it's working. And this will actually now link to YouTube. So if we go to the preview and we take a look at how this link is working, you can click on the link and we'll notice the new browser is opened up with the link to YouTube. Okay, let's exit the preview. Also we have images, of course. You can add an image quite easily. Position it wherever you want. I like how the lines are automatically giving you an idea of how what would look good with the page and you'll notice the page also automatically adjusts to the image. You can resize the image and choose what images you want. If we go to, let's take a look, swap images. They give you a bunch of free images. As we can see you can pick any of these. I'll pick a nice sunset. And we can make that big if we want. And also notice we can change the settings of the picture as well. If we look at the settings, you can have that as a link. If you click on the image editor, you can resize the image. And of course, there's also advanced features like if you wanted to make a border or a background color for some reason. 
Also, when you click on that, you can also choose a little bit of additional options such as locking it. And if you wanted to bring it in front of another object or another or behind it. And this one I find is handy as well if you wanted to show it on all the pages. If you wanted to have, say, maybe you wanted to have this image on all the pages just in the top, top right corner. I can now click show on all pages. And if I go to the contact page, we'll now see the image has also appeared there. Okay, we also have a slideshow button. The slideshow is quite simple. Gives you a bunch of options. You can add as many images as you want. You can add a caption. Caption for image. And now when I actually go to the preview, you can see that the caption for image is right here. And you can, of course, flip through the slideshow. It also gives you some options as well for the slideshow, such as how you'd like it to look. Do you want buttons at the bottom? Do you prefer a nice white box? A little description underneath, etc. We have a photo gallery if you wanted to add that. Photo gallery is right here. You can resize it however you like. If you have lots of images, then it actually automatically adjusts as well. You just have to decide how wide you want on the page. You can swap the images, of course, and change the settings. And when you go to the preview again, we will take a look at this and we'll see that the photo gallery actually enlarges for you. So whatever size of the image you uploaded will adjust to that size. And of course, whatever description here. Let's also add navigation. Well, this is the navigation at the top, but let's say we wanted more than that for some reason. Maybe we wanted that at the bottom. It's a little bit limited in its designs. Depending on what theme you pick, depends dictates exactly how the navigation will look like. But the nice thing is that you can actually reorder it, of course. If you wanted one in front of the other, you can hide one so that you don't see one of them. And you can actually also place them within each other. So if we take a look at this, instead of having all five of them, we now see just two of them. And when I go here, this is about, oops, about, and then the test comes out. So it makes this very easy to create a drop down menu. Also, if you want to just go with theme, you can, of course, go with theme. And then it gives you options for the coloring of the text hovering, the background color, etc. Let's look at the sharing options. Now, it looks like it's already been done for us on this page. But I'll add another one just to show you. So here are some of the pre-built-in share options. Of course, you can change the settings. You can change how you'd like it to look. Do you like big images, small images? Do you want them in that kind of configuration? And when we go to the preview, specifically for this one here, the preview actually shows up along the sides as well. So for all of them, it'll appear on the side. Well, I believe it's all of them. It should appear on the sides and on wherever you placed on the page. Okay, what else? Next up we have, well, the Facebook is pretty similar. You can add whatever you wanted for the Facebook the options here. And it just gives you a, a link to the Facebook page. Twitter is exactly the same. You have to log in, of course. That allows you to connect to your Twitter page and your Facebook page. The Google map I like because it allows you to very easily and quickly include a Google map and allows you to, of course, change the address to whatever address you wanted. 
And when we go into the preview, we look at the Google map here, you can of course actually click on the map and it'll take you to the Google map. But it's also a working functioning map within the editor as well. The blog button allows you to provide a bunch of links and descriptions as well and the YouTube oh sorry I missed one the form they've already put a form on this template so let's go to the form and you can see here that it also that it provides the boxes and provi provides the coding actually behind the scenes so that when you hit submit it'll send you the form to your email and YouTube. If you click on the YouTube, it will, oops, let's go, let's put that on my test page instead. Yes, it's getting a bit messy, isn't it? All right, so if I click on the YouTube, you can insert a YouTube video onto your page and link it to whatever video you wanted it to do. My preference is to do links because I find the video sometimes not the nicest formatting and can cut up your page a little but it is an option and it's there if you'd like it to be finally of course we also have simple buttons the buttons are a little bit limited and the line if you wanted to add a simple line the button is simply just a shape really that you can add some text in the middle of the shape but you could also do that manually by just having a, a box by just having a box and then just writing some text on top of the box as well. And I find this gives you a little bit more flexibility if you wanted to change the font because the button only gives you only gives you one type of font, though you can change the color. So a few limitations about the website builder. I find that at the moment there is not a very easy way to insert a large amounts of texts if you wanted it to be nicely formatted. So for example, if you had a large PDF or a Word document, the editor doesn't very conveniently allow you to insert information. So if I were to, for example, to do this, oops, let's pick There we are. Let's go with that. So if I were to grab a bunch of text and I copied it, and if I were to put it here, it's not very easy to readjust later on compared to the Word documents. It's okay, but it's sometimes not the most convenient. Especially if you have a large PDF and you wanted it to be specific size and shape. So what I found, I have, there's a way to get around it, but it's not text anymore. So what you can do is you can insert an image, and you can convert your text to an image, and then you could insert the page. It's not the most convenient way, I admit. Text is usually a better option, but it's sometimes difficult to get this nice formatting, such as the, oops, such as the, let's say if we wanted a line here, and then you had the text here like that, it's very difficult to do that on the website builder. For example, right now I'm hitting tab to indent, and it's not doing anything. You'd have to do it all spacing by manually, which is not very easy to do. I recommend that if GoDaddy happens to be watching this video, you try to find a way to insert PDFs and Word documents and other Excel images a lot easier. Okay, so we've taken a look at this and finally you've, you actually have a bunch of site settings. Search engine optimization unfortunately is only for some of the higher products which you have to pay more for and since it's the demo I actually don't have it enabled but the site settings gives you a few options you can change your business name, you can add a phone number, 
main address and for search engines it gives you whatever information on especially on the cheap ones the cheap packages it gives you a brief amount of information here but it doesn't allow you to do keywords unless you pay for the higher the higher packages you can also enter in HTML code as well go to preview one last time take an overview look at the website so as you can see there's a lot of features that the GoDaddy website builder actually offers and without needing to know any coding whatsoever all you have to do is figure out exactly what colors you want and then spend some time to get the formatting right 